Hey guys, it's Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. I was um, cruising through Facebook, just scrolling one Sunday morning. Maybe it was a Saturday morning, I don't know. Max and I have coffee in bed on Saturday and sometimes on Sunday mornings. <laughs> it's like our date. We don't get a lot of um, dates outside the house, but we have coffee and I was just scrolling through Facebook and I saw the cutest thing come up in my feed. It was on Stampin' Up's Facebook uh, page and it was this little treat tray done by one of the artisan design team members. I don't remember who it was now, but what a cute idea. So this little tray, you see, it's kind of like a little tent treat and you can put a lint truffle in there. I love that the dark chocolate one's my favorite, except for maybe the black, you know, the 70% dark chocolate. Those are really my favorite. But the, and it just matches so perfect. You can slide it right in there. And it's made with the nested essentials dies. Have you guys seen these? So talk about a bunch of crazy shapes, right? There's no squares or circles here. We've got uh, the rounded rectangles and that's what we're going to use for the base of our treat both the front and back as well as the little tray you see it's even got the little like pierced detail because we're going to use the die set and then we're going to use the little flag shape the little chicken lip banner dies for our hello tag so you get four each of the nested shapes this one's got kind of a double stitched detail these two have a pierced detail and they're just really a great um, nested die set to add to your collection if you don't have these yet take a look at them uh, they're 34 dollars item number 161597 just a nice essential die set that you'll get a lot of mileage out of over the years and we're going to go ahead and make this um, treat. Let me show you how to do it. So we're going to start with a few of the largest rectangle. So we have two that are cut from designer series paper. It's this largest rectangle. This is the bright and beautiful designer series paper. And then we're going to also cut besides the two out of designer series paper, same size, same shape. We're going to cut three out of cardstock. All right, then let's go ahead and adhere our designer series paper to our cardstock layers. And I'm going to use just liquid glue to do that. Be careful with the pierced edges. You don't want, let's see if I can do, I want this to show so you can see it while we've got the sample. What if I put it leaning on a block? There we go, cute. All right, you don't want the glue to leak out of the little pierced edges. And the reason why I'm doubling up is because I didn't want the lemon lolly stars to show on the inside. It was a little bit distracting because I didn't use lemon lolly on the outside. So you don't need to double this up with the cardstock back, but if you don't love the paper that's on the other side, then you can double up and make your treat tray the same color as the inside and then um, it'll be nice and clean. If you like the inside pattern, then just do the inside pattern and it's all right. All right, so I've got two of these that are already glued to cardstock and one of the um, navy, Knight of Navy rectangles. We're gonna grab our Simply Score tool next and we're going to score all around that third naked rectangle. All right, so pop this in. Now, the one on Stampin' Up! Um, Facebook said to score a quarter of an inch all the way around. So I wonder if she used one of the smaller size um, rectangles, but if you do that quarter inch around on this largest size, the tray will be wider than your um, front and back rectangles. So you're gonna do half an inch all the way around. And this is on the largest rounded corner rectangle from Nested Essentials. Now let's get some bone folder and paper snips. And we're gonna simply just work these scores 
and then we're going to snip on the long side. So grab your paper snips and you're going to do both scores on the long side. You see? Now turn to the other long side and snip both scores. Now here you can use liquid glue if you want, but you have to hold it and let it grab. I'm gonna use tear and tape because I'm impatient for that. Now you want the tabs to go to the outside, front and back. The reason for that is because you're going to adhere the rectangle here. So when you adhere the rectangle to the front, then the little tray tabs are sandwiched between and there's no tab on the inside. The outside, which is exposed, it's not covered, is nice and clean. So there is a method to the madness. It really is important that you snip the long sides and then that you turn over, add your adhesive to the inside on these small tabs, remove the liner from all four tabs, now we've got all four tabs sticky and we're going to assemble by bringing the tab to the outside of the box. I know it feels a little unnatural if you make a lot of boxes, but trust me, it's okay. It's going to get sandwiched in between the front and the back, so no big deal. All right, let's run some more tear and tape, which is going to further secure this little tray. And we're going to go straight across the front and the back. And I'm actually going to do two strips here. It's not quite wide enough. They'll overlap a little bit, but it'll give you a good strong hold. You could do liquid glue here as long as you didn't mind holding it until the glue grabs. All right, we're gonna set this tray aside for just a second. I'm gonna grab my little um, covered rectangles, the front ones, and I need to find center and mark it because we're gonna punch a hole in it to tie closed. Now I can just mark one side, it's okay, uh, but I definitely need to mark it. Otherwise I will be so far off, it's not funny. So I'm gonna grab my Simply Score tool and I'm gonna find center at least as best as I can find center. And I'm gonna mark just with a little, I'm just gonna press on that zero. So now I've got a little um, divot where I think center is. I'll grab my two designer series paper covered rectangles. I'm gonna put them back to back and punch through them with a quarter inch circle punch. All right, let's see. Let's see. Not bad. It might be a smidgen to the right, but once we get a bow on there and everything, it's going to be perfect, perfect. All right, now we can remove the liner from the tear and tape on the front and back of the tray. And it's going to take just a second here because I've got mine all overlapped, but I really just want it to be good and stuck. So I'm gonna pull from the bottom and then pull from the top and at the center there where it overlaps, it's okay. Same thing, I'm gonna pull from the top over here and then from the bottom over here. Here's where I need a half inch tear and tape adhesive. I would love to have half inch and eighth inch tear and tape adhesive. That would make me so happy. All right, put that in the suggestion box. So now we're going to cover the tray and center those on, one on each side. Uh-oh, <laughs> did you see what I almost did? Let's put it face down. All right, now we've got it and we can tie it up. I'm gonna tie up this one with some Azure Afternoon ribbon. I love these ribbons. I have the Azure Afternoon and the um, bubble bath one here. It also comes with Lemon Lolly. So the sheer ribbon combo pack 
is really delightful. Both the bright um, and beautiful and sheer ribbon combo pack are from the annual catalog, Stampin' Up! annual catalog. Let's see which way we like it better, with the bubble bath or with the azure afternoon. All right, we've got a little tag to close this. So I'm not gonna completely finish yet. Let me trim off the excess. And then let me show you our little tag. We'll set that aside for a second. I've cut these ahead. We're gonna bring our little nested essentials die chart back in here. This is the little smallest flag in the nested essentials dies. I love this for adding little sentiments. And I did Azure Afternoon and Basic White. My little greeting also comes from the Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. It's the Hello Ladybug stamp set, and we're gonna use this little Hello Greeting. Hello Ladybug, as well as our sneak peek. I'm sure you've already noticed the Hot Air Balloons Bundle. I'll show you that in just a minute. Hot Air Balloons Bundle is coming in the January, April mini catalog. So it's gonna be a few weeks before you can order it if you're a customer. If you're a demonstrator, our pre-order and celebration starts on December 5th, I believe, is our, our pre-order date. So really exciting. If you've ever thought about joining Stampin' Up, give me an email or a call. I'd love to answer your questions. All right, demonstrators get more fun, including an extra month of celebration. All right, our inks here are Azure Afternoon, Bubble Bath, Berry Burst, and Night of Navy. I'm going to just stamp my little hello greeting on the banner and we'll set it aside and let it dry. Put it to the left because we're going to pop a little hole in the top there so that we can thread that onto our Azure Afternoon ribbon. We've got some basic white scraps. We're going to build our hot air balloons. Let me show you that. You guys, I just think that this is the cutest bundle. Here's the hot air balloon stamp set. It's a 12-piece photopolymer stamp set. It is available for demonstrators to order on the 5th. You can add this to your starter kit if you've ever thought about joining Stampin' Up. You can add pre-order things to your starter kit and your celebration starts in December, so it's a really great time to join. Even with a join promotion coming for celebration, it's nice to really get things right away and get them at a great discount. The Hot Air Balloons dies is a 16 piece die set. Lots of fun um, to cut out the images, but also to build balloons just out of die cut pieces and um, some fun accessories too. I love the little clouds. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? They're just perfect for this. All right, let's get our Azure Afternoon. I like to do that one first. I find it a little bit easier if I do the center piece of the balloon with the Azure Afternoon first, and then I'm gonna two-step stamp. I'm gonna do bubble bath for the alternating stripes, and just take your time when you're lining up. You wanna make sure that you check at multiple landmarks to make sure that your stripes look as even as possible. So I check landmarks, meaning at the bottom two, center of the bottom the bottom of the center two pink stripes, I try to make sure that they're centered between the three Azure Afternoon. And then after I feel like I've got that, then I check the center stripes and see that they're centered at the top too. And then I can do a little adjusting before I bring it down. So check a couple of landmarks and you'll find that you get really cool and even stripes. We've got the little bucket here. I'm gonna do that with Berry Burst, such a cutie. Mm, let me do that one again. It's not quite solid enough in the center for me. There we go, that's about our image. Now let's clear this away and get the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. I love the uplifting um, theme of the hot air balloons. Just a note to lift you up as a really great sentiment 
um, hang in there. So it's really, you can go really uplifting. Everybody needs um, somebody to cheer them on once in a while, right? And this is a really fast way to make tags and treats and cards because there's no coloring, no fussy cutting, just ink and stamp. Grab your stamp and cut and emboss machine and cut them out. And then I'm going to pop the little clouds on there. And we're going to run those through on the same pass. So the nice part about this treat is you can get all the images you need one pass through the die cut machine. If you know me, you know I think that's winning. And there's all of our bits. We've got our bucket and our balloon, a couple of clouds. We need a tiny little heart for an embellishment. I love this. This is done very burst cardstock. And another sneak peek. This is the B Builder punch. I love this punch. This is another one that demonstrators will be able to pre order starting in December. There's our little heart. Gonna bring our treat in here and our tags. I want to start with adhering the little white hello to the Azure Afternoon, kind of matte it, a little pop of color that way. Give that just a second to dry. Let's put some dimensionals on the back of our balloon and bucket. I have some over here that somehow lost the top to their sticky, you know, their they lost their release, their little protective cover, and they've been sitting here sticky for a couple days. It's time to use them up before they're not sticky anymore. I don't know how it happened. Has that ever happened to you guys? I really don't know how it even happened. All right, that might be too big for a half a dimensional. Oh, well, I didn't get to use up the whole two that were sticky. That's okay. There we go. Now this should be secure enough. Let's go ahead with a 1 8 inch circle punch now. And we're gonna punch this and make it a tag. So I got my little Fiskars handy punch here. Oh gosh, I hope that's kind of centered. Not too bad. <laughs> I was a little nervous. All right, so we're gonna slide the tag onto the ribbon and then we're going to oh my bucket come back here bucket put those aside for a second we're going to loop up and then swoop over the top and then tuck and pull so you don't have to tie this first you don't have to do like over under and tie it actually will lay flatter if you don't. So we've got that. Now we can go back and get that other little half a dimensional that didn't stick on the bucket. And we're going to lift our tags, kind of twist it to the side a little bit, tuck the dimensional right in there and put the tag. Then we can trim the tails of this ribbon a little bit. Ooh, what do you think so far? Are you liking the bubble bath or the Azure Afternoon ribbon? Our balloon is sticky. Let's go ahead and adhere that to the front. And then our little bucket, that goes to the front too. Line it up. Oh, my bucket looks a little tippy. Sometimes I have to rearrange my bucket a couple of times so it doesn't look like it's ballooning on an extra windy day. <laughs> but I do love that it's two separate pieces so that I can add a little pop of color. There we go. Cute. Now our clouds, we're going to add some liquid glue on the back. This one's going to go off the edge just the tiniest bit. So don't bring the glue all the way to the edge. And there's our cloud. Then this little guy. So this one's going to go past the edge of the balloon. So again, don't bring the glue all the way to the edge. And that one's going to go over our balloon. 
so cute up up and away right into the clouds now our little heart a bit more liquid glue pop that on not pretty i just love it you guys it was so fast we're already done let me grab a treat and some bling of course we need some dingles um uh, my dingles are buried hold on here they are i decided to try these um adhesive backed sequin trio the white ones or the pink ones both will work really good with this bright and beautiful designer series paper so let's go ahead and grab a couple of these and we'll pop them in the clouds and one over here love it oh, maybe a little bit lower get that triangle placement going on there so cute isn't that pretty just a little bit of kind of cloudy sparkle let's add a treat and there it is aren't they cute all right you guys I don't know if you've seen it, but let me just remind you, we have a brand new PDF card class in the Kitchen Table Stamper PDF store. If you like the treat and you're interested in a matching card class, you can check out kitchentablestamper.com slash shop. And in, when you get to the store, filter on the right-hand side if you're on a laptop or at the bottom if you're on a mobile device filter for pdf store and you'll find our hot air balloon wonder recipe card class it's three new designs featuring wonder recipe number 17 and it matches our little treat perfectly all right guys if you've got any questions about the project or about the card class email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com and to shop stampin up 24 7 you can buzz over to marissa alvarez.stampinup.net thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video